it's quite light. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a not whiskey here on my cask. It's close to a whiskey. <coughs> Sorry. It's an American bourbon. Um, and it said on the label, it's not two years old. And this is a legal requirement to be called a bourbon whiskey. Then it's from Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, Lake Erie, and uh, but there it's produced, uh, it's it's aged in a very special way, and it's produced, distilled in Indiana. I have no, not the slightest idea which distillery that was, um, and this is very very special, and here you're able to learn. That's it. Cleveland whiskey, American bourbon, radically different. And here in the, uh, you see uh, Tom, 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 Tom Licks, the founder, and below you see two pictures with Tom Licks and President Obama. Uh, and I was told that they were talking about the bottle and the bottle size, and. Uh, President Obama was astonished that that bottle uh, didn't had uh, 75 centiliters, three quarters of a liter, but 70 centiliters, 0.7 liters. And he asked why, and they said, well, this is a bottle for the export for Europe, and therefore it has only 0.7 liters content. President Obama wasn't aware of that. Well, does a president have to know that? Mm, I don't know. Um, on the back of this whiskey, it said, uh, the experts say that it all takes time, that we need to let the angels take their share. And our personal favorite, it's always been done that way. We've been told that using our patent pending pressure aging technology is sacrilege, that we're industry heretics and that it's simple impossible to make good whiskey unless you do it the same way as everyone else. Put it in the cask, let it mature for at least three years, take, let the angels take that, their share. We always colored outside the lines, threw away the rule books and stayed up well past our bad times. We were curious, we were persistent, and we never liked it when people told us, no, that's not the way it's done. Using pressure and oxygen, we've stepped outside the traditional box. Age is irrelevant, taste is all that matters. Tasting notes, light in color with excellent clarity. On the nose, there are hints of toffee, butterscotch, and almond, which provide a perfect introduction to the palate as both vanilla and cocoa join the medley of flavors. Tom Licks, founder chairman of the Cleveland Whiskey Company. Distilled in Indiana, pressure aged and bottled by Cleveland Whiskey, Cleveland, Ohio. Aged less than two years. Finishing process patent pending. Without color. So this one is no two, uh, two years old has already acquired this amber color uh, by pressure aging. Um, I once stood on the roof of the early times distilleries in Louisville, Kentucky, and we looked over the old warehouses from National Distillers, and uh, a knowledgeable person, I do not remember his name, uh, told me that those warehouses were heated in winter. I dug deeper, asked him, and he said, well, uh, in winter temperatures go well below freezing and the whiskey uh, uh, contracts and sucks the air from the outsides through the porous walls of the casks. And in, in spring it warms up again 
and it expands and pressure uh, and, and, and drives the air outside again and so it's breathing it's aging and there the taste comes from and with those uh, warehouses with the heating they were able in midwinter to heat the warehouses up to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, keep it for a fortnight and during this time uh, the whiskey was able to warm up and press the air outside then they let it cool again and sucks the air in so you have two maturation cycles in a winter you can heat it up two three four times in a winter um, and then it ages faster than the, <laughs> the clock runs well and here they say well we put pressure in the cask with pure oxygen and this high oxygen content increases the oxidization processes in the whiskey and the pressure puts the whiskey into uh, the staves so it's like a sponge going in and out <clears throat> therefore it extracts uh, from the original bourbon casks uh, the taste carrying compounds yeah does it work have a look it's quite light I have no idea of the receipt of the mash bill does this come from a vodka distillery where they have a very very high ABV to get rid of all the taste substances which you do not want to have in a vodka clear or does it come from a bourbon distillery with a maximum of 180 proof I'm not quite sure so <clears throat> uh, there is not the, the typical bourbon aroma in it nor is it a, a malt or a rye no it's a light floral and a little sweet aroma quite spicy but in a in a different way it's not this oakiness but there's this chocolate and, and coffee aroma and it said uh, strong vanilla mm, no not really and the aftertaste is mild and mellow and probably a little bit again the floral taste but the aftertaste is not that long and there is something sticking to my tongue I'm not quite sure what it is so this is no Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey no it's an American bourbon aged less than two years and I think time matters perhaps they should have used uh, this uh, finishing process of this pressure pressure aging a little more often in this whiskey yeah thank you for watching stay tuned there's more to come uh, and shortly i will have a look at this black reserve mm -hmm.